Boys and girls alike, welcome back to Build Bros. Tonight we have Claudian, Nick, yo, and yo, Alex. yo, Arrow. How are you guys yo. doing this week? Fantastic. Yeah. Nick? Not too bad. Still just looking for employment. And Alec. Oh, living, living the dream. Living the fucking Nick on uh, there on Alt ninety four uh, panhandling. When you trying to wash my when you trying to wipe uh, my uh, window earlier? Yeah, I got uh, not, of newspapers uh, ready for you, blast. bud. Now there's a chip in it. Thanks, bud. I feel that, man. I'm fucking tired of my new job. I'm still trying to get adjusted. Isn't that though? It's good on my end over here. Mm. So, kind of start this uh, this week's episode off. We are going to be talking about tsunami piggybacking off of WA. Nick and Alex were just on there episode about tsunami so we figured well we do anime over here build bros so let's piggyback off that shit yeah why not and also we have our first video recording that's going up on spawn cube YouTube. so we'll be posting oh, links for that yeah. too sweet now you guys get to see our beautiful faces while we talk and we actually right. put clothes on this time yeah. mm -hmm. not if Kinda. you tune in uh, not if you tune into my smart. private YouTube. Worse. But the ski mask is always in there, regardless. That's his, like, he wears that ski mask, actually. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's because he... Do you have those black Air Forces on right now? <laughs> no, I don't. <laughs> you can borrow mine if you put want. Up. You can just trade. Well, they're, they're, <laughs> they're put up. They're put away for they're now. Good. Claudia, what did you yep. watch for our little segment on Toonami? Yeah, um, so I watched a little tiny itty bitty show mm -hmm. called Outlaw Star. Phenomenal. Amazing. So delicious. It is uh, by the boys at Bandai. And it is in Sunrise. I'm sorry. Wow. Sunrise. I'm dumb. Anyways, uh, yeah, it's uh, it was by Sunrise and it was aired for about a probably at least a season because it's what 20 with 24 25 episodes i believe but there's only one season but it's phenomenal love it it was great brought back so many memories what's the premise of the show just short uh short uh basically you follow a uh, character by the name of gene winstar uh uh was it Windstar or something like that? Anyways, him and him and his buddy Jim, a kid that he kind of sort of is like a younger brother to him, but not like biologically. He just found him on the streets and they kind of just started this little um, business of uh, bounty hunting. And uh, yeah, they basically uh, trot around the, uh, the universe in a ship called the Outlaw Star which uh, actually was a ship that was stolen, which is actually a big plot point for the show. And, um, yeah, they, uh, it's, it's a fun show. Lots of, uh, lots of the, uh, the classics uh, for that generation. The, uh, the very, you know, cat girls with ears <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> you know. That's, oh, yeah. that's Steve. I haven't um, watched it, there. so now, now that you said there's cat girls, cat I don't girls care about the rest the of the plot. There's, uh, there's, uh, you know, the super sexy s assassin. There's, uh, there's intrigue. Tell me more about these cat girls. Yeah. The, uh, <laughs> I'm just the, 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 part of a race, part of one of the races. And, uh, in the Kataro uh, Kataro. Yep. Yeah, the yeah, Kataro Kataro. Yeah. They're all cat people, essentially. It, it's, <laughs> it's an interesting show because it's a show that unfortunately, I think, and why it probably did not succeed for more than the one season is the show that actually probably didn't know what it was if that makes sense like like uh it felt like it was a hogmash of like all these other shows that like i felt i i felt trigun trigun in it um uh, you know um cowboy bebop there was all this show like imagine those shows just kind of meshed together and that's what outlaw star was but it's it's still phenomenal show especially having just watched it again i love that show i the 
the narration at every episode is beautiful. Like it's like the narrator. It's like it's like one of those shows that have that that great opening narrations, like you would have with going back to uh, like Cowboy Bebop and um, even Gundam, even Mo, uh, Gundam Wing. So the narration, which was very informal, like it gave you a lot of information on what was going on, the science, the technology, and all those little itty bitty aspects of the world. So it was very heavy world building, but unfortunately uh, it cut short. And basically it's, it's, it was a show that was kind of weird in the sense of like, that they're kind of all trying to get to this place called the ley line, the galactic ley line, which is like this mystical place. So it kind of has sort of your opening, like an early version of uh, what's that show with the, with the uh, pirates and stuff. Um, One piece. It was kind of like, reminds me of like the whole one piece kind of deal where they got like a mystical place and they got to essentially get there. Find it. Yeah. Find the treasure or whatever the fuck it was. But it was pretty, it's pretty badass show. Like amazingly. It's a slick show. Definitely. Her map is an Android girl. Yeah. Yeah. It was Melfina. Melfina. Yep. That was part of the, yeah. Hilga. Hilga. Yeah. The pirate Helga. So she literally has one eye. She literally, well, she didn't. And then her, uh, her like camouflage. Uh, she was like, uh, she's like this blonde girl. Then ends up being this brunette girl with one eye. And it's like a pirate. So yeah. So in the show, there's pirates that are like, um, essentially. So like being the be difference between like an outlaw and a, and a pirate is like, pirates are like horrible, horrible like people that essentially that they, they worship Taoism. They, they, so they have like a religion that they follow, which is, which gives them like supernatural abilities. So they're actually like super powerful enemies, like, like crazy enemies too. Like, and so you, you, if you like your kind of like a ninja scroll kind of, you know, the components, uh, the uh, villains were always kind of, <laughs> Like very unique characters, you, you you have plenty of that in this show for that, and uh, and just the whole hier- hierarchy. There's they like the pirates have an emperor, and everything like that, and it, it was like you kind of learn all that as you're going, and then uh, you know Jean is a, a late the ladies' man, you know, but really uh-huh. r- really deep inside he's he's just somebody who's so fearful of becoming a man and like in like space and stuff because his um his father and him when he was young were out in space and he lost his son he lost his uh father in space and so it all it tra- and traumatized him so and, uh, when we begin the show he's been on this planet essentially just uh being an outlaw and doing all that shenanigans and inspiring to be something greater and i remember like going back to Toonami though like they they heavily implanted that uh that segment of outlaw star in it and i always remember that I always like sometimes a man <laughs> wishes to be you know a a, a, a boy tr- you know wishes to be a man sometime i don't know if you all remember that segment mm-hmm. and they would show him like looking in the stars into the star motivational like, speech yeah oh my yeah. god those, those tanami things are just phenomenal and it was one of the shows that were always really in threaded with with that like you had of course it was gundam you had the whole uh you know you know their their whole little intro for the show which is beautiful uh just is now on youtube you can watch a uh you can watch it everywhere but i think they just did a new video on that not just gundam though it's endless and endless waltz yeah more or less specifically but it's just beautiful like just it was a great show and it's a shame. Like it's a shame you have like your real slick, sexy, uh, assassin who, uh, is like ultra beautiful, like the ultra pale, thin, long hair. Like she, she could kill you. We like, know Claudian's type now. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, ultra, ultra yeah. beautiful, U- thin, ultra beautiful. long hair. I could kill you. Guess yeah. I'm out of the work. Ultra here for Claudian. Yeah. I'm not his yeah. type. Yeah. Well, maybe if you Alex. start wearing ski masks. Yeah, I was gonna say Alex. Now, hmm. yeah, he may let you stomp on him. He likes that. <laughs> but um, <laughs> and, and and you kind of you know the, the characters build on on the, 
un- unfortunately the show does lack in sort of like okay oh. we'll kind of get to introduction with characters then then they'll leave and then they kind of come right back and it's kind of a little weird i felt that was kind of like so you don't have that from a to a to b to c kind of progression it's just sort of like oh wait a minute were you trying to kill me in like two episodes ago and like funny that you're here on this planet like kind of thing like that was kind of a theme too though for that kind of stuff back then i mean look at it's just like 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 90s yeah it's super tropey yeah Uh, yeah unfortunately the show uh unfortunately the show was all but nothing but tropes i don't think there's anything wrong with that though i mean do you think it held up do you think it still holds up today oh oh our style is is sunrise at probably their best um like like it always saw it look better than gundam wing and it was like one of the best animated shows the, on the, tsunami i yeah. haven't watched it so i i've never seen it before so the just the artwork yeah. and the gun design that they use <coughs> um because they use a very specific type of um ammunition and, and gun. caster shells caster shells yeah there's a actually the the one episode with with literal uh, nudity is the uh, where they where where he goes to get uh, new caster shells yeah. when they go to that they when they go to the hot springs episode and he's just like you know just like he's like so determined to go up this mountain <laughs> and this shit just shit just keeps coming down this mountain he's like he's like they're like oh we'll, we'll we'll make this we'll make this very special shell if you get if you get nudie pictures of one of our original founders and he's like oh she hottie and he's like. You know, he's like, just trying to climb up there, like, and then like fucking like snow and shit falls down, and so it's it's got it's very uh, very uh, comical. It's a very it, it takes itself very seriously, and then very very not serious. I mean, the show's basically him following his dick. Uh, for Literally the most what it is. for the most part, well, I mean, yeah, the, the, there's a moment where it becomes about. Uh, Have you seen the ending? Well, yeah, I watched I watched the whole. Bro. He where literally he goes through everything to save Melfina. He followed yeah. his penis from beginning to end, and it almost got him killed a yeah. hundred thousand times. Well, <laughs> yeah. Well, he he only did that because he promised Hilga that he would find out what was going on, what this ley line's all about, yeah. and what is going, what that's about. And <clears throat> and on f- the, I always remember the show actually for the antagonists because they're just so bizarre, like. There's these, just there's these like they they have such high uh, dimorphism with character design. They just look different and unusual for every single one, and and they, and they like they're like regular. If you kind of think of the uh, what was the uh, in in Gundam in Gundam, I believe Wing. What was those underwater aquatic um, uh, Gundams? Uh, not Gundams, but. Uh, they're just basic. They're their ground units. I don't know. Like remember. the water ones, like the ones underwater. They only are like, like ever mentioned, like what two but, but episodes. It, but anyways, like they, they, like the designs of them look like that, but like they're human and skinny. That if that helps for the uh, those that are Gundam people here, um, or if you've ever like seen the Hakus. Digimon movie, they kind of look like those things. <sighs> yeah, yeah, but way more mature design. Oh yeah, like hundred percent, and. um what else? What else would I could say about the show? Great music, um, phenomenal music. I mean, it was it was it was a cornerstone. It's one of the cornerstones and and very well known public animation. As far as you know, it wasn't something that we were like, oh, we we gotta get a VHS of this and you know secretly watch this or anything. No, it was on it was on Toonami, so it was, it was definitely there. And uh, I, I think without it, I mean who knows what animation be I, I i couldn't tell you what the impact of that show is like i really unfortunately couldn't because i feel like it was a show that got kind of wedged between other shows that were i don't want to say better or anything but just sort of having gone and got a much larger name and and uh following so like your dragon ball z's you know your out your uh you know um trigun i know i remember trigun was super huge at the time that Outlaw Star was being aired, and um, and of course Cowboy Bebop that was a good one with massive too, and then you know Run and Kenshin, like so those shows were kind of like Emmy Watch. Those those shows were kind of just flooding out Outlaw Star. I just think it just got lost in the mix. They, uh, Sunrise did the mistake. I 
of pumping out way too much all of a sudden. And I kind of it bit them in their ass, I believe. That's fair. I mean, it has yeah, a cult I mean, following now, though. I mean, so. I've watched that and, show and, like, and like 40 <laughs> times. I love that show. I Isn't remember. It, yeah. I mean, Big's over here talking Bro, about I it. I like watched that show. I like, watched it yesterday. It's been like two like, years. Yeah, but I, I do love that show. I was surprised how much I remembered of it. Um, because like, it's memorable, all of it. The guns, yeah. the fucking enemies, the, the weird shit. I even remember what the bad guys say. The, like the bro. brothers, the two brothers. Um, yeah, Doyle, uh, Doyle, the, Doyle. Yeah, when they race, the Doylen brothers or, or Doyle. Doyle. Oh, Doyle. I think it was the Doyles or O'Dougals. O'Dougals. Dougal brothers. They're yeah. phenomenal. The one. Yeah, there's this whole. It, this is whole mech. This is whole Even thing better. about like emergence between like. It's very cyberpunk as well. So, you know, if anybody who doesn't know, I mean, <laughs> the cliche of cyberpunk, but everybody knows, but it really just means high technology, but low life. That's what's, that's what actually cyberpunk is about. So it's that it's advanced, super high technology, but everybody in the show for the most part are low lives. You know what I mean? Like, like they're just like for the most part like i mean literally so like yeah, yeah. like well, literally like the world currently lives. yeah like just like thugs and and just bull, you know gangs and whatever like there's low lies but they got this technology that's just outpaced them and one of the uh one of the things for that show is that like they use uh, an interesting kind of combat system called grapplers so like all the ships have like hands and and like so let's go back to like yeah they got these hand things that extend out and and what's funny about it is going back to the piracy in the uh, in the uh, like the actual Earth Federation or whatever whatever their version of that was, like like they first they first developed it, but then the pirates just stole it. And then they improved on it, and then and then they got so scared of it, and it just became a thing that if you had a grappler, though, you were like top dog, like like you you were basically like nothing could go up against grapplers, you know, so. The uh, and that's the kind of like what kind of space fighting you'd see in the show, but then then there's a lot of combat stuff. Like I said, there's there's a lot of uh, you got the gun barrel down, you know. They do a lot of that perspective. Like, all right, you tell me what's going on. You know, why are you trying to kill us? You know, that kind of there's a lot of that kind of dialogue in it. It's it's very good. It's it's a lighthearted show. That it's so it's not really too like deep. I don't think, but. It definitely what, means a lot to me. What do you rate it? Give it a rating. Of 10, out of 10? Out of 10. I, honestly, for, for this, it, it checks a lot of like very specific things for me. So it's definitely in the... If, if there wasn't slight little issues, which is just, I think, over production Don't be on, petty. on Sunrise. Um, I'd <laughs> Don't be it petty. Give it a good around, rating if you like it. Yeah, like a 9.5. Okay, 9.5. So you won't give it a full 10 because of small little ratings. There's okay, minor right. things which I think they screwed up. It was just <laughs> that error. No, I, yeah. You know, I feel that. I was like, I was thinking 8, but 9.5 is true. Did you watch it sub or dub? Oh, no, I, I, I watched it. I, the, the voice acting, Both? by the way, is phenomenal. Yeah. That and, okay. This is, this is the golden age of voice acting. Like, like they, they did not cut any, any short strings for voice acting. They, okay. No. So. They did a good job on that, and that's a big thing for yeah. me. With uh, if I'm gonna watch a dub, you know, I mean, like obviously, when I was a kid watching Tsunami, we all watched dubs. I can't especially stand them the now. narrations are just phenomenal. That voice actor is like, like I said to me, I'm chills hearing his voice when every opening of every every show where he's explaining stuff, just like I did with, do with Gundam Wing. Just that I just get chills like when I hear, you know, that it's like, like it's, it to me it had that effect. So that's how important that. The, the dub version was to me um the music the music is phenomenal um except for one song that they play a lot and because they kind of do a little meta thing where it's actually in the show all of a sudden um nick will know the the very the end song there's actually oh, a moment, yeah. there's a moment where it suddenly becomes the lullaby yeah it's where a it's lullaby actually in it in the yeah. show and you're just kind of like and that was kind of like where that where when we say pretend. in the show, we don't mean like it's in the show, like at the end, like literally no, someone no, is in, actually playing it, seeing in humming the it. show, yeah, yeah, like humming okay. it, okay, yeah. okay, and and it just throws you off. You're just like, wow, this they just went meta, like, and um, 
Yeah, no, the characters are great. The 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 the, on, the only thing that was kind of disappointment was it does abruptly end. Like it ends the 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 story ends, but then it leaves it off for like what was probably to be a, another season. Yeah, they rushed it at the end. There, it felt yeah, like. What about is is there a manga to it that follows after? Do you know? I um, I know there's a manga for the show, and I don't know how long that went for. Because there could be a um, manga that you know. I, I definitely the know there's a manga. longer than their show. Yeah, I'm, that's always a thing, you know. But it's a, so it has a special heart for the the uh, Tom's Tom. For those who may not may or may not know, who's first hearing about Tsunami, there there was an AI robot that was kind of like the main host for the show, and his name was Tom. And and th- they would they casted a phenomenal voice actor who would do these very long like two three minute. Beautiful, just beautiful. You, you should just go online and check these things out. We'll post just, them. How about yeah, that? Yeah, they're just they're just beautiful, <laughs> like little like escorts of like of like just. I don't know what I don't know how to I don't know inspiring. what they're called. And just I inspiring, shit. inspiring, yeah. uplifting, yeah. like and yeah, and get you just, feel good moments. I think that's yeah. the good thing about tsunami. And, and yeah. that saved. I think that really saved, like really propelled the shows on there. Like that's why I watched it. I remember hearing that and i remember that specifically for outlaw star it always had in my mind that you know when when a when a boy becomes a man and then that man must go out into space into that you know like that like it gets it gets real movie you're like i want to get in a rocket ship right now and fucking go in space you know like like so it's and and, and fight these you know f- fight the evil pirates and you know and do this stuff so it, for somebody like me who like my imagination often you know, gets it's way ahead of me. I I was I was loving it. So, and, and that was what I watched was Outlaw Star, phenomenal. So, hundred percent recommend watching it. It is out there. It, it it's a must. It I, I have to put it on. I think it's on Hulu too, isn't it? I'll check it out. Okay, so on on Hulu, I think it's like Friday or something this week. A ton of shows are jumping off. I have no oh. idea. Maybe they might be. So watch contracts. it by Friday, so you'll have one day to listen to the show and yeah. watch it by Friday. <laughs> and, and I mean, it's a, only one season, I think, and it's like one season. Episodes, but there's a few. I think there's maybe a one or two fuller filler episodes that were just kind of like, I, I think it kind of kept to the storyline for the most part. So I don't. So you you won't be like you won't be like watching a, a show and you're like, Oh, nothing really happens in it. A lot of it does propel the, the main story. So yes, hundred percent recommended. So watch I it. Give, yeah. Go you, do it. Do it. I'm, I'm trying do to get it. that, uh, trying to get into a rocket and do it. Get those cat girls that you're talking yeah. about. Oh, Nick, what did you watch? I think we should let Alex go. Alex, I, like, I want to hear Alex. Alex's. Fully. Yeah. Alex. Yes, sir. Fully, fully, fully. Oh, it's the best six episodes of any show you'll watch. About being a teenage kid and just like full of all the emotions in the world. And just, I don't know. Alien girl comes and just, just the, her name's Haruko. She just comes and messes up your life generally. Sounds about uh, right. Especially at my younger years. Ooh. Dude, it's let walking TVs. <laughs> we have walking TVs. <laughs> well, no, didn't uh, Claudine call it a refrigerator? Walking. I thought yes. it was a refrigerator. <laughs> yes. <it wrong>? <laughs> <laughs> Is that refrigerator. a walking mini fridge? Walking TV that takes What, what is the walking? Because, like, I've never seen the show personally. His name's, his name's Conti. And, like, Conti, what, uh, what they say? It means, uh, Mm. I've never watched fire. Really, so I haven't either. Like two episodes. One of the, one of the characters. What's your name? Uh, if you've seen like memes and stuff and photos on the internet, mm. it's the one girl smoking a cigarette. Very just pessimistic, pessimistic, just mm. filled with all the angst. Smoking cigarettes in high school. Wanting wanting to start fires. Oh, yeah, yeah, very familiar. Probably Jeffrey Dahmer up there. Smoke First of all, I didn't smoke cigarettes in high school. Yeah. Did you though? I didn't. No. Devil's lettuce edge. or was? Did you? Oh, yeah, I forgot. Mr. Dahmer. Yeah, it was straight edge. But you definitely wanted to see shit burn. You oh were, yeah, I want to watch definitely. 
I want to watch the whole world burn. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> so, Alex, what's the show? Uh, I mean, I know you said it was about like uh, a alien girl. Well, there's it. There's a lot of mech in it. Alien girl does a drive by, swings her base on Taku, which is the protagonist, and robots just start coming yeah. out of old. Why are they coming out of his forehead? Or something. Like that. Because yeah. the show sounds confusing, <laughs> it's they don't really, really fully show. like. It is so confusing, it, but it's only six episodes, so like you can watch. Oh yeah, it. and analyze the fuck out. <laughs> I think I watched it twice. The ro- robots come out of his head. Yeah. Does it does hurt him? Robots come out of his head. So is, is that where the refrigerator oh, yes. came from? Oh yes. Is that where the refrigerator guy came from? Say that again. It's a TV. Yeah. Refrigerator TV. Yeah. And he's actually, he's like yeah. an anti-hero, I'd say. Like, he like he helps them, he like, he helps them. And he I like those kind of characters. Yeah. Chaotic neutral. Fucking, yeah, chaotic neutral all the way. Uh, but the last oh. episode, they saved the world. Oh, I was like, what? They saved their town. From, from, a, from a meteor. With forehead? You sure this, you sure this was a <laughs> Midgard? No, so he has. Oh, card? actually, I'm glad you said that. There's one <laughs> episode. Here, Midgard. <laughs> See, it's funny you bring that up. I felt like Outlaw Star was like mm-hmm. sounded like Seven. Final Fantasy IX. That is weird. You brought that up. I was like, hmm. <sighs> There's Did a new one. To just redo that one too. Isn't that part of the remasters that are coming out for re- reissues? Yeah, dude, I can't keep up with fucking Square Enix. It's bullshit anymore. Oh, I was talking about uh, the Fully anime. Billy. They keep they Fully keep Fully oh Fully they keep Fully. talking okay. about like new anime or oh my yeah but, like anime that they're gonna redo. Like uh, Yu Hakusho has been talked about. Uh, Fully Cooly, I know Fully. was talked about. There was something else that was talked about, but I don't remember. What I feel it like was. I feel like they got a green light for Fully uh, uh, Fully Cooly. That's why I was like. They did. They did oh, do two different did. seasons. Oh, so there's like more the series. First season, it? but it came out. There is, but it, it came out like oh. almost twenty years okay. later. <laughs> Makes more sense. Yeah, like because what this came out two thousand one. Yeah, they came out in yeah twenty nineteen. Like just came or... out with Fully Cooly. Yeah, rewatching Fully Cooly. Did too. you feel like what, what did you feel like rewatching it now that you're obviously an adult and everything watching it as a kid like what was something that you felt it's very <laughs> very perverted yeah, yeah. very you perverted like a, you felt like a man child is that there's also also a, <laughs> well fully cooly means yeah breast fondling i like fully cooly i like so this there's I that like this. yeah <laughs> fully cooly uh hmm. a lot really? of gundam references Really, they start like making fun of anime and like we're like one of those Gundam esque shows. <laughs> yeah, it went pretty meta. And I was like, yeah. I think that show also went yeah. pretty meta. like like breaking that fourth wall. Yeah, and uh, at one point Haruko like trashes her Vespa scooter and pulls out a Gundam model and just turns it into a bolt and really in her scooter. Yeah, I've never watched that before. It fixes so. it. I, I know. Six episodes. You should highly, I highly recommend checking it out. It's actually it's all on YouTube? YouTube right now. Yeah. I think it's on Crunchyroll, too. Mm-hmm. I'm sure. I watched the dub version, because Konami. Sometimes it's hard to, like, go version. back to watching a show that you, like, already, like, I, I know for myself personally, like, if I watched it in dub, when I started it, I'll continue to watch it in dub. But if it's something I've never watched before, I just watch it in sub. Yeah. I mean, it sounds weird. I, I have like, to sometimes, watch it in like, dub. Like, uh, just like going back to like, so obviously Dragon Ball Z, I mm. watched on Toonami. And then I tried watching it sub. I was like, oh, it just sounds I weird. Do it. I can't do it. It's, it's hard for me to do. Only because I'm just not used to the voices. So I don't like, I can't always connect who's talking so like for me like voice actors are really important to me to know who's talking when they're talking 
So like I, was I, actually an old ass woman. Like, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> exactly. So yes, like, for me, it's like really important to know who's talking when they're talking, and that kind of like up when it comes to dub and dub. Already watched. I I agree. Like uh, Gene Gene Starwin's character, his voice. Like that's that's how I always that's how I always know that character. I I, I can't I can't like just not know that voice actor with that character. That's that's pretty much to me what, what he's always always going to be. And same thing with the narrator I was telling you at the beginning of each episode. Like that's that narration is just that narration I always will know. So it would feel weird to see it otherwise or hear it otherwise. Alex, what's your rating on this show? Out of 10. He said, probably nine out of ten. I roll, I roll, I, I don't roll, wanna, I roll. Yeah, I don't want to. Nine out of ten. I just want to be like, ten out of ten. I don't want to be ten out of It's really good. Is, there, like, it's really, is really there anything good. you notice different from watching it as a kid now versus the, besides the per, like how perverted it was? Like, Is there anything that you picked up on that you feel any different about? No? Not really. I mean, besides Conti means Lord of Flames, which I never knew that. You say it like Ten times. Yeah. Pick that back up. Hey. Okay. <laughs> kind of kind of brutal. brutal. Yeah. What about you, Nick? I oh, watched Nick, Nick look like he's so distressed. He's like, Nick is like, I watched the entire catalog of Tanami. Like I watched <laughs> I know Ronin watched. Warriors. Ugh. Which as a child I absolutely in adored <laughs> or legendary samurai warriors, which is yeah. probably what it's under on uh, like samurai uh, warriors. crunchy roll and stuff like that. So if you look it up, don't look up Ronin warriors. It's going to be the legendary samurai warriors. Or yeah. Really? Yeah. Yes. I, yeah. That's the only way it's on crunchy roll. So, so yeah. that's, that's weird because I remember game. buying a, toy of them like uh, literally like three of them i had the red one the green one and oh yeah, I'm, about to get, blue. I'm about to get into all of this trust me i think it was i think it was yeah. those three and i definitely think we remember seeing ronin warrior on, oh yeah no it's ronin the packaging Warriors. from like kb toys and yes and no okay okay ronin. yes and no okay yes and no so yes and no i'm gonna okay. get back into this so ronin warriors it there's a lot to kind of unpack because there's no seasons it's like 39 episodes i want to say of just it was a hefty show I fun yeah that. there's 39 episodes it aired yeah. from 88 to 95 so just to give you an idea of and only 35 the, episodes 39 39 well still that's a long time i think for... they're i think the japanese one aired from a time to a time and then like the oh okay, one. okay 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 so that being said the Ronin Warriors follows Ryu, Sage, Rowan, and Kento. Uh, Ryu is the fire guy, uh, wildfire. Uh, Sage is lightning, basically, or thunder. Uh, Rowan is arrow. Basically, he's, he's water. I don't. They give him all these like weird titles, but they're basically just elemental warriors. Um, and Kento's rock, but he's just super strong. He doesn't actually have any like super interesting attacks. At least not. he's like. <laughs> He's like my least favorite in the thing. Like he, every time he pops up, it's just like, ooh, can they just kill him and like replace him with someone cooler? But, anyways, so I, you know, the show starts off basically like with a dude watch walking a fucking tiger through the center yeah. of the street, which is like, yeah. oh, this is this is cool. This like, how is this about to go? Well, except for that little kid. Yeah, the little fucking kid. Oh <laughs> yeah, my yeah. god! And I'm like, okay, so this is already. You might as well suspend any like this realism place. from this yes yeah. like <laughs> there's none uh so I, started, what it is. <laughs> so I started uh you know i continued watching it and watching it um it's basically just the uh this guy Telpia, or i don't even know i how to say his name but he was the uh <laughs> the main, like big bad and he's got like a couple of generals i think it's five of them and they're basically just trying to take over the mortal realm uh yeah. he's like a demon lord basically uh he was like an exile emperor or something like yeah, that yeah something and like then... that and uh he 
yeah, this this show was not my favorite to watch. The animation and was okay, I guess, but it was it was a slog for me. Um, yeah. so just to just to get through. Oh no! Because wasn't one of like the generals becomes one of the heroes? Yeah, eventually. Like, I think it's like which one is it? I think it is it. I just remember. It is like it Rowan? Name. My is it friend, yeah, he's like a he's like a whiny was like the whiny general. Yeah, and then he's like, "Wait a minute, I'm I'm one of the 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 protectors." Yeah, he's like, yes, you are. Well, and then yeah, I, I just always remember the emperor having that voice. Ronin warrior. He like, sounded like the fucking uh, dude <laughs> from uh, Ro- Inspector Gadget. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'll get you, Gadget. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. But uh, <laughs> yeah, dude. I watched this. I, wow, I never put that. Um. It was okay. Uh, mm. Apparently, it was a Canadian-based uh, production company that actually like released it. So that's really? where we got our yeah. That's where we got our uh, oh. English version from, or uh, or Western version, if you will. Um, yeah, like I said, it aired from eighty-eight to ninety-five. So I guess that's probably why the animation is the way it is, because it's it's much. It's definitely in an older style. Than mm-hmm. like say Outlaw Star or definitely Fooly Cooly because yeah I remember it's... watching some of Running Warriors. I thought it was a oh, yeah. show. I loved it. Definitely. I mean, it's don't get me wrong. When I... sure, but... Oh yeah, no. As a child, I loved it. I really wish or in hope that they give it like an updated version because it it could use one like one hundred percent. Follow Remaster, the same yeah. storyline. Yeah, reuse the yeah. same story. I, yeah, cool. I don't think. I don't think they yeah. would. It's also by yeah. Sunrise. Cl- clean up the uh, story too, because I remember like almost a third of the whole show is just them finally finding their. I remember like a big part of the show was so boring because they were just, you must go here and you know you must find your inner whatever and become the hero, and you're just like what? Like, well, the whole like, show is based around Ryu basically becoming the that white one. I can't remember what it was called because oh. like, liter- like I said, I kind of lost interest near the end. Yeah, and yeah. it it just yeah. turned into died off for you. Yeah, because like he they it's like how Claudian was saying it was them chasing their powers, trying to figure out who they were. It was like a, be- yeah. a coming of age because they're they're teenagers. Because you know every anime is teens. they're teenagers. Yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, no, I mean yeah. like my f- I remember the show fondly or at least i did and like i absolutely loved it i mean the toys were released in like 95 and then in uh 2001 so if you got the toys from 95 those were the uh samurai warriors like they had the japanese name on them the ronin warriors ones that we played with were released in 2001 the ones with like the springy Arms, the arms, yeah, yeah. yeah. You can wind up their arms. <laughs> I remember them, dude. I had them KB toys. <laughs> yeah. KB toys. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, so it was like a hit or a miss with the KB toys because they were like wanted... Toys R Us, like, but they would yeah. get like the cheaper versions and stuff. Um, yeah, so that's uh, that is what I watched. Actually, though, fun fact: the voice English voice actor for Ryu, or Ryu, Ryu, Ryo, whatever you want to say his name. Uh, mm-hmm. is actually uh, the guy from or Matt Hill who played Raphael in Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 3, oh. the time one. <laughs> yeah. Uh. Lost in time. Yeah, yeah he, also, he also played Ed on Ed and Eddie. But, Hell yeah. You know. Which Ed? Because there's a big discrepancy. E.D. Not E.D. Not, okay, not Double D. No. And not... Yeah, Lil Ed. Just Ed just Lil Ed. Ed. The greaser not, one? Yeah. Not yeah. Ed the... Ed. Yeah, but the what toast. A... <laughs> I like toast. But How do you think the show holds up now? It doesn't. It doesn't. No, no. I Not just... even kind of. I no. couldn't be paid enough money to rewatch it's, it again. Well, no, even though you re- just rewatched it. It's on the stop. I honestly, like I said, I finished it just to finish it, but like I didn't retain any of it because I felt like I was getting prodded by pygmies or something trying to watch it i was like i would lose like interest and go on my phone and i was like how did you uh how did you survive that ultra boring opening sequence like like that very 80s oh my this, god yeah that, didn't that, think that about very that. 80s opening i kind of like that's oh. what bro- that burned me out i'm like i'm like i yeah. wish i could just cut out all of the intro for like at least at least you know like i could 
maybe cut through the show, but man, mm-hmm. that intro was just, it's just very 80s. And If it was on Netflix, I would have been able to skip the intro, which would have been, yeah. made it a little bit better, but it was it was terrible. It yeah. was hard to watch. What did um, you watch it on? Uh, Tubi. Tubi is the only thing that currently has the English version of it on there legally. I have. Do you guys DVD. hear what? Do you guys hear what some of these hosts go through for you guys? This man had to download Tubi and watch yeah. Tubi. I literally Just did for I this literally. episode. Yo, listen to that. Actually, yeah, I do. Watch, Tubi's I do watch legit, man. Tubi. There's shit I, on there that's amazing that you can only find. I got a PSA real quick. Most no extreme way. Okay. Challenges okay, okay. On Tubi. Okay. Is it really? All of it. Yes. Okay. So See, I've never, I've never used goes. Tubi because no, we, we, we are not affiliated or or paid by Tubi. But yeah, yeah no, you know, no. But you MX, want to get paid, no. dude. But MXC if it is has a, MXC. Now, okay, I'm not going to get too off track. But I yeah, no, that's it. off track. But no, that show um, is amazing. But yeah, I didn't, I, I didn't care for it um, much. I mean, I loved it, and definitely, I tried looking at it from like the time frame perspective because like i said i looked into it a little bit prior to watching it just so i could have like some insight on it so when i watch it i'm like oh okay this is from a completely different time because you know that's how you should watch things like with an understanding that was goddamn what 30 years ago almost yeah it was it was a yeah. long time ago mm-hmm. i mean yeah. i mean that's we that's were, the thing we with little. shows like that though too is like uh, i think one of the greatest things now is we get to simulcast yeah goes Yep. So we don't miss like there's no time skip or like even whenever we got Dragon Ball it was yeah it was hour a long behind time. If that. yeah I mean it was a long time like before we got Dragon Ball so the show was really far in <laughs> yeah exactly before we even got it but like now we can watch stuff literally an hour after now. It premieres but that's what kind of society we live in though is everything has to be now not tomorrow mm-hmm. not like I mean look at deliveries it's now. I want it tomorrow. I'm not mad at it. Oh I no, mean, I, I mean, I'm I not. Like but it. I, it it creates a lot of like weird things. It's like a ta- it's a give and a take for sure. Oh yeah, yeah, because everybody's demanding as fuck now. Well, yeah, yeah, it drives people nuts if they don't get that in- instantaneous like first world problem. You know, what would you rate the show? Oh, you're having to split this, dude. Oh, I just seen. Okay, I seen the desperation in this man's face whenever he was thinking about this. How he's gonna rate it? So, the child in me definitely solid. Like we'll say seven. It's not you know Cyborg Zero Zero Nine or Zoids or Gundam or anything like that. However, the adult in me just rewatching it, and it definitely is dated. Um, five maybe a 4.5 it wasn't like terrible but it's not something you're gonna want to rewatch and rewatch and rewatch like you hacker show has that replayability outlaw star yeah. replayability fully coolies fucking six episodes replayable as hell i could yeah. watch that in one shit i mean alex probably just rewatched it again like five minutes ago so the shit right before the episode. yeah yeah <laughs> so <laughs> like just you know don't go into this you know with nostalgia like don't it will blind you and then as soon as you get in you'll be super disappointed so just remember it yeah. is a show from the 80s i mean most of these shows are but this is one of the like this is one of the ones you'll know as soon as you start watching it the music the voice acting everything like don't get me wrong matt is a fucking dope ass voice actor he voiced Raphael from ninja turtles and i fucking love those movies i will rewatch them until i'm 100 years old i own the steel box case set of them number three was not that great it wasn't it wasn't but i do love when he's like hey and he uses the scissors and cuts off that dude's top knot i'm like dude that is fucking dope that is fucking dope <laughs> but uh one of the only what willies them one of the shredders is kevin nash it, oh that uh, makes that makes way shredder, too much sense he's kevin a nash. fucking huge dude oh, yeah but yeah, no, he wet Willie's a motherfucker yeah. too in the movie. Right. But anyways, right. but yeah, so just don't go into it too crazy, expecting a whole hell of a lot out of it. It's from the eighties slash nineties. It's exactly what you would think. Okay, it's not the greatest, but I would rewatch. You know, I would rewatch it in like seven or eight years when I'm feeling like Ugh, I want to be ten when, again. When you got it, yeah. When you gonna feel young again? Yeah, watch. I watched it a few years ago. Parts of it. I only watched a few episodes. 
because I have it on DVD. And like, just one more note: like the animation style looks so familiar. Like, like it's like it's yeah. like that style that was like, uh, you know, uh, Rama and a half, like her, like the, her style that the animator for that show. And it's kind of like that in, in like Dragon Ball. Like it's kind of like that kind of style, like a mix between those two. So if anybody's wondering what it kind of looks like, I, I'd say it looks like that. We'll post pictures too. Yeah. Yeah. Every show that we were. All right, Copley. You get to tell yeah, us. Steve. Oh. Oh, I Steve. get to talk now? Yeah. Yes. Well, I watched Muyo. I love Tenchi Muyo. Um, That's a good show. Dude, yeah. it's great. Um, I mean, lighthearted oh, comedy, dude. Yeah. Light, it's just a super lighthearted comedy. Uh, the plot, still very confused on actually what they were trying to get across on that show because it's literally nothing but a bunch of just <laughs> a bunch of just just a bunch of women trying totally. to get on tension. Um, yeah. yeah, I mean, basically, he's a he young fucking. <laughs> Dude, really, I mean, just a young kid that fucking accidentally releases a space pirate. Yep. And then everything goes to shit in his life. I love his grandpa. Yeah. His grandpa's fucking awesome, though. His grandpa and his dad are fucking amazing. They're hilarious. Um, What can I say about this show? Uh, it was one of the first animes I watched, obviously, because of Toonami. Very short on Toonami, and then they kept, like, releasing shit on it. Um... If you like space and girls that have big breasts, the show. Uh, breasts. Ryoko is definitely one of my top favorite characters of all time. Reference here. You guys need her? There she, there she is. Um, I personally loved rewatching this show. Um, I kind of like it brought Brought me back to just feeling young again. Just like I, I remember sitting in my living room, just like watching this shit as a kid, and then I now as an adult, thirty year old male, I was ass ass out on a fucking couch like. Man oh, child. I remember this, dude. Yeah, straight. I felt like a man, man child. child. This, <laughs> I felt like a man child, dude. I was just sitting there watching. It. I'm like, dude. I remember watching this as like a fucking ten year old. And I do not remember as pervy as it is. I will tell you that. That is one thing I do not remember. Um, the fights were just as cool. Yeah. To me. I I always love watching fights in anime regard. Mm -hmm. Didn't it go Star Wars at some point? Don't they have like lightsabers? Yeah. yeah, yeah. They got like their beam sword. I mean, that's kind of how it like starts out, really. It's like yeah, because he goes the, into the jewels like, hey. and all that stuff. Yeah. So like they got these jewels that kind of give them power and stuff like that. I mean, even in the original series, it's kind of weird, though. They only had, like, one, like... In the original series, it's literally just, like, one main villain. It was, like, Kagato, which is, like, literally, like, I think six or seven episodes... Or, no, no, not even six or seven. It's, like, five episodes in, and the whole series was only six original. Or some shit like that. So, like, literally, there was, like, no storyline other than a bunch of just girls, like... Um, Ryoko... Um, Sasami, Yoshi, and everybody just just flaunting over, you know, Tenchi, and then mm. just out of nowhere, there's a main villain. There's actually a problem, and then it's oh. so short after that. And the spaceship's a cat. Yeah, cat bunny. Cat bunny. Oh, oh yeah, right. It was a bunny. Yeah, Ryoki. Ryoki. Yeah. It was yeah. like a cat bunny thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh. I fucking do. I love it, dude. <laughs> I have a like a I have a figure of that too somewhere in my bedroom. I don't know. I lost it somewhere, but it's here. Um, I mean personally myself, uh, I'd still the voice acting is terrible now watching it as an adult. Oh yeah, um, yeah. They did screw that up. I mean, I thought it was great when I was a kid, but now like rewatching it as an adult, I'm like, this is fucking ass. I can't stand Tenchi's voice. Hey guys, what's going on? Like I'm like I can't believe that was the decision they made. Although I will say that I have contemplated growing another rat tail from this oh. show. Yep, I mean, I'll do bring it. back like I think I had a rat tail in like 2010 or 11. I think I might do it again. What? Yeah. <laughs> what's, what, what's wrong, man? What, what? What's wrong with the rat tail, bro? We what's need wrong? to leave that in the fucking mullet back where they belong. 
No, my Stop mullet's going to come back, too. Stop it. I know, oh, it's I disgusting. I seen a girl too. with one the other day, and I was like, what the fuck is this? The mullet, bro. I had a mullet yeah. like last year. Or, well, exactly. a little bit before last year. Exactly. Don't do that to yourself. Don't do that to our society. We have enough fucked up things going on, and that is not one of the things we need. We need, uh, we need more attention. Mm, uh, mm, we, keep listen. it clean cut, bro. Just keep it clean cut. No, I'm going to have to get the rat tail again. I got to get in my Tinchy vibes. Um, yeah, I mean, I love the show, man. Um, watching it, like I said, watching it again, it was just it was great nostalgia. Like just reminding me of being a kid and just chilling. And like, I don't remember the show being as perverted as, but hey, it is what it is. I mean, I I would rate it Dude. myself personally. I love the show, but I'm gonna have to give it at least a six because, like I said, there's really no good storyline with it. It was just. Just lighthearted comedy. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Exactly. Literally, just they were just trying to fuck him. Um, literally, I mean the the whole carnival episode. That's like the after the series ended that they released was literally like um, Ryoko and fucking uh, what's her name Akia or whatever her name is. They were literally just fighting the whole episode about who's going into Tenchi's room at night, and then just to find out that Sasami and uh, Washu is already in there. You know what I mean? And it, it's just a ridiculous show. Um, I think something super confusing about it, too, is that they had so many different series. About it. Yes, I was just thinking that. Yeah. <laughs> um, so, like, going back, I remember seeing different intros and stuff like that, too, because they aired different versions of it on Toonami. And I was like, wait a minute. Because I haven't retouched the series in so long. I remember there was, like, a, a revamp of it in, like, 2017, I think it was. Or 16, where it was like, oh, here's Tenchi again. Like, oh my God, welcome back. You know what I mean? Like, but it was like a whole different type of thing. And then I remember like going back and like reading upon it. And then I've seen like there was like six other series. And I was like, well, that explains why I've seen other intros and stuff on Tsunami. Um, yeah. Like which I didn't know. I mean, how the fuck are we supposed to know that at a young age? There's different series about that. And the internet stuff. wasn't a thing, by no. the way, back when these shows were out. Yeah. Like, it was, but. You still had to like disconnect your like house phone and all this other funky shit. So it was either magazines or hearsay and like friends telling you shit. Yeah, I have um, I have ten. I have a bunch of the the series from the shows, like the different shows. Oh, I have, like, like at Tenchi, least Tenchi, Tenchi. I think I Universe, Tenchi, Tenchi Muo, Universe, Tenchi Universe, <laughs> GXP, uh, yeah. Tenchi and Love. And all that, but but if you like, if you're confused about it, go buy one of the. If, if you want to buy a physical copy, buy uh, the one of the ones by the brand called Save, S A you know V E Save, um, because on the back of that they have a map that's called like the Tenchi Universe map that helps you as a buyer to buy future stuff, figure out what you need to like what is what, and it kind of like breaks up the timelines. And stuff. So, because I didn't know, and then I was like, "What is Tenchi?" Uh, you know, GXP. And then picked it up, looked on the back, and it was like a literal map of like all of the Tenchi that's been out there since. And I'm like, "Whoa!" Like, it's, it's interesting to see that. So, even the openings are different too, and like how yeah. he meets Ryoko and shit like that. Oh yeah, in the yeah. original series and stuff like that. So it's it's very, I don't know. It they almost, like, themselves. It's an it's a yeah, yeah, it's annoying, but I, I deal with it because I just I like the series. Um yeah. it's kinda like that with Fate Stay too and all the Fate series. <coughs> they oh, do the Fate same Stay. shit. Yeah. All the Fate series like that too. None of it's really related besides like two of them. You know what I mean? It's in the same timeline. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I love the show. I I have no problem watching it again. It's also only like six or seven episodes, and then you can like dive in deeper. Yeah, they're mostly what's called OVAs, essentially. Yeah, no, I mean, that's what the original series was called. It was like potentially OVAs. Yeah. Which are just like separate little, for those who may not know, they're just separate video, like separate seasons that are just super condensed, usually. There was no plans for an actual season. They just want to do it to kind of test the market, and they would make something called an OVA, essentially, is what that was. Made a whole season out of it. And then made another oh, later. Different spin-offs. Later. Yeah, later. <laughs> yeah. 
like I said, for me, though, it was just nice for nostalgia. I was watching it, and I was like, hell yeah. I remember this. I I, I just remember watching and being like, oh, I fucking remember this part. And there's other parts that I'm like, I was watching in his fight with, like, Kagato or whatever, and I'm like, I don't fucking remember this at all. And that's, like, the main, like, villain or antagonist. I'm like, why don't I remember this? The only thing I remember about the show is all the fucking women flocking over Denji. Which is kind of funny to me, because, like, you think that would be the main thing that I would remember would be, like, the fight with Kagato and shit like that, but no, nope, not at all. I just remember them flocking over Tenchi. Wasn't he <laughs> the, uh, wasn't he the brother to, like, one of the girls, and, like, okay. he just wants the royal, he wanted to be, like, the king or something? Wasn't that his? So he's order? royal bloodline, yes. Mm-hmm. So he's part of the royal bloodline. Yeah. And, yeah. But he's not Did that show. Line. No, yeah. no, not at all, because it's like, I think his, I want to say, or before his grandfather, or grandfather, then dad, then him. Yeah. Some shit like, like that. I don't fucking remember, dude. It, dude, like I said, there's no, uh, to me, no plot to that story at all, or that anime, because it was just so, there were so I mean, many of them. Dude, it, I couldn't tell you the plot, because it was just, so much was going on, but so little was going on at the same time, I could you got to also remember, like, for those who may not know, this this was the grandfather anime for that was introducing into U.S. America. You know, like this was the first time that Japan was trying to put in anime straight into the U.S. Like, where usually it would just get picked up, then dubbed and stuff. So this was really the grand. This was very early. It doesn't look like that, and it's a very well done anime. But it's literally for almost a lot of us anime people that are really into this this was the first anime we really ever saw like it's got, it's got that special touch it was the first one really that was accessible to anybody so it's really it was it's really an important show i love i loved the attention tenchi's great man i mean it was a great yeah. fucking anime i loved it i get like i said man um only because was- plot's very unclear i feel like to the audience five or six but i mean all other aspects, I love the idea that all the women flock over. Cool to me. <laughs> anything, anything different since seeing it from like way back to now, like that you've noticed, or <sighs> like I said, other than like the perversion and stuff like that, yeah. um, and then the fucking voice acting, I think actually is terrible. I can't yeah. stand the voice acting. Listening, fuck was. Very hard for me. I'm just gonna very, be honest. Very nasally, yeah. You know. Yeah, dude. I mean, I still don't really like particularly care to listen to dub unless it's something that I've already watched. Mm-hmm. And this was hard to get through. Uh, the voice acting was just terrible. There was no emotion in anything, and I was just like, I was getting very bored watching it. Um, all the way through. But hey, great anime. Watch it. Well, Maybe I'd well, feel different if I watched it in sub. <laughs> I was gonna say, have you? Have, did you list? Did you watch that in I, sub? But I have not time. watched it in sub, but that was something that I'm probably gonna explore. Actually, now. What would not you say? What would you say to Nami as overall meant to you, Steve? Uh dude, Toonami was. I mean, okay, so Toonami to me. Um, I literally had very few friends in elementary and stuff like that. It was like me, Nick, Corey, uh, Anthony, Chris. Uh, growing up, that was I had like five friends, literally all through elementary school. So like we were all intertwined, watching Toonami and just hanging out at recess and then in class and stuff like that. That was our friend group. Uh, Toonami was kind of like my early childhood completely. I, I mean, that, that defined me now as an adult, I think ways um i don't think that i would like anime now as much as i do if i did not have tsunami it meant a lot to me i agree i mean nick Nick, what does uh tsunami mean for you like what was it what what impact does it have on you i mean it it was everything like uh copley said like we i even now don't really talk to many people i talk to you guys and uh i mean 
pretty much it. I talked to maybe a couple people from school still, but uh, for the most part, didn't really have many friends. Didn't really like to have that many friends, but uh, yeah. So like and all of us, that's how we kind of, you know, intertwined our like lives and whatnot. We'd go home, watch the episodes, talk about them. Honestly, if you didn't fucking talk about Toonami when you got to school the next day, you were a fucking nerd and they were like, eh. You were just, you were a loser. Okay. You were a fucking us, yeah. turd. But yeah, no, so it was everything. I mean, like Copley said, I don't think I would like or have the same taste for anime that I do now or even at all had that not been a part of my life. I'd probably be one of those regular ass dudes that's like, I like basketball and <clears throat> golf. I don't know. Football, bro. Football. Yeah. Did you see football. the game last night? Foos, hey, yeah, football, also, foosball. no hate, no hate on anybody that likes sports. If you guys like sports, yeah. that's cool. You got full you hate did. coming from me. Yeah, but uh, Alex, what does it mean to you, sir? Yeah, to Nami. I mean, I'm still literally sitting here watching the same fucking shows. I don't really watch any other anime besides shit from Konami. I grew up watching. It's kind of bad. I need to step out of that zone. Finally. Grow the fuck up. Because <laughs> there's so much anime out there, but like, like yeah. if it wasn't for this, if it wasn't for Konami, like, none of like, oh, Western world, like, we wouldn't, like, I don't think so. gotten into it. For the most part, unless you're like some like oddball case that was that just somehow got introduced to it. You know what I mean? Like, Accidentally scrolled across the international channel on a weekend at like yeah. fucking three in the morning. Well, on a sketchy ass well, I'm telling VHS you, I remember like uh, there was one time Anthony um this is one of me and Nick's friends. Anthony brought in uh, a figure of Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta. And at this time GT wasn't out and I was like that's not real. That's fake. There's Dude, no I remember super- that. Yeah, I was like there's no way that's a thing. No, it's not. And b- it definitely fucking was, but I didn't know that until GT came out. Bro, and same thing for me. I was like that's not fucking real. That's fake. Like, I'm like, that's some kind of fake toy. No, that was a real fucking thing, but we just hadn't been introduced to it yet. Yeah, dude. Similar story. Uh, I used to live in Detroit when I was like seven for most of my life as like a smaller kid, like seven to 10 or whatever. Dude, little Mexican kids across the street from me had Super Saiyan threes, Majin Buu, uh, Apion, like every single one of those characters. And I was like, what the fuck is this? This is fake as hell. No, I was just an idiot and didn't know that the show was like already over in Japan and like every other country on the planet, except for ours. We were just getting it. Yeah. That's what oh, made wait, me love it in the first place was Dragon Ball and Dragon Ball yeah. Z. Oh, I still dude, love I can, them. I don't care what anyone we says. Can, we can have a whole episode on Dragon Ball. No. Standalone. <laughs> Y'all can what did tsunami mean to you oh okay <clears throat> all right so this is this is clear not quite the shortest answer that i'll have for it but um but i know it sounds like for the guys here at least and, and those who may be listening you know who had watched it or not <clears throat> for me tsunami and hopefully for a lot of people was kind of just the way to just live in another another world for you know 30 minutes and 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 explore alien worlds and or explore you know mech tech you know robotics like or or even like under the sea with like you know uh, blue sub number six and all that stuff and it was kind of just a way for us to you know relax enjoy and and be able to just go on an adventure and really through that you know it was something that was extra special because we would have and again i was part of a very big group at my school that were into this fortunately i did have that was kind of a big thing for i don't know my school just was like one of those weird schools that we just had a big like nerd group i guess you would call us so to kind of you know Go in, you know, see your friends, talk about the newest episode, whatever it was, and everybody, you know, it's it's how we it's how we became friends with people. Like, 
people that we know, hopefully today, hopefully everybody knows those people. I know a lot of people leave and grow up and, you know, do other things. Not saying we haven't, but, and, but it's definitely, it's the, the emotion there is, is definitely palpable. It's definitely that it's, it is our childhood. And Toonami was probably the greatest thing that I know Cartoon Network's ever done, in my opinion, like, and Hands down. that's, that's what it means to me. It just means friends, friendships and, and dreams and me being one, somebody that wanted to go into the stars and, you know, see different worlds and stuff. It really allowed me to do that. So, and I hope it did that with a lot of you listening. So. Claudia, you got really fucking deep there, man. I, yeah, you're gonna make all of uh, our shit sound like that. Yes. I feel like I was just watching something almost like up there for a minute, man. Um, next, next a- AMSR next, but that's all. That's what it means to me. Like, um, it, it's just because we, we all think alike. We're we have a lot of the same interests, so I know that's kind of what resonates with you guys as well. But I hope those listening it resonates the same. And who knows? This might be a new exciting chapter that um. I haven't looked at the times yet. I don't know, but I'm sure you go on Cartoon Network and they'll have the scheduling for Toonami. So, yeah, they just uh, they just renounced uh, or they just launched the remaster of Wing and everything, I think, last yeah. night. Which I have not watched. Yeah. I'm a bad host. Same. Yeah. <laughs> We're bad hosts. Sorry, We're guys. Terrible. We're terrible. Let's we watch worse than anime, so you don't have to. Yeah. Mm hmm. I'll give us money. Cable television. Yeah. Give us money. No. Um I mean honorable mentions here though. Mm-hmm. The tsunami. Um I don't even know where to start. Uh Claudian, throw something out. And I'm sure Nick's gonna kill me on it because I'm gonna have nothing to throw out after um, he does. <laughs> well, um, I, um can I do like two? Can I do like two? There's yeah, so do, two. Many. We'll do a couple. Okay. Okay, do so, a couple, so, man. Do a couple. Okay. So obviously big O was huge. Um, I remember that. And another one that actually is kind of like a really, you know, unknown. I, I don't think anybody knows this one, but uh, yeah, Deep uh, Blue Sub Number Six was a phenomenal show. Super short, and it was it was a very well done animation slash CG. And uh, yeah, that that was those are two of mine. Uh, Nick, I'll just throw out two. Um, no, well, maybe three. Okay, so obviously, got gotta say Zoids. <laughs> Absolutely loved uh, Zoids. Fuck you. Both Zoids. of the series both that they series? had on there, yeah, yeah both series. Oh loved my god, both of them. The CG was absolutely terrible amazing yeah oh stop. it was so it was bad good. it was <laughs> so good. bad Zoids alex, was good bro alex would hate those shows right now actually he probably hated them as a kid he was like god damn cgi bullshit <laughs> Zoids wow, was no. awesome bro whatever but uh so Zoid, i didn't say it was bad i love zoids i love the story i love that but the cgi does not hold it's not the same it does not hold up um Batman Beyond, because after uh, WB took over for Toonami, that got added on there. Fucking loved it. They got to actually finish it because I invested a bunch of time. They cut it off of, you know, the weekend airing of uh, Kids WB, which pissed me off. But anyways, uh, there's that. And then Cyborg 009 does not get enough fucking love. Oh, yeah. At all. That was like one of my favorite shows as a kid. I thought it was sick as fuck. Uh, And like, 90% 90% of us as like teens if you're in your 30s had the same fucking haircut he did with like the swoop over the eye so yeah I'm working on mine right now we don't now. have to talk about that yeah we're not gonna talk I mean even I had that I like my pi- only picture like in recent years like 2007 is like literally one of those my eyes all covered and shit yeah the eye patch but uh Hair Alex patch. what about you sir um Gotta mm. say, you have to show. Have to. Uh, mm. Robocross. Robotech. Yeah, I mean, Ro- Macross. Macross, yeah. Because Macross. Yeah, Robotech, I, I fucking mixed Macross, them up. Yeah. Hey, uh, yeah. I'll just throw a third out. Okay. Loop into third. Nice choice. I love Loop into third. 
this great set of movies. Very well animated. Series. It just learned no, I, it's a Ghibli yeah, film. I, I just told you about that, yeah. First it's one, a really? movie, the movie, The Castle of, uh, yeah, the uh, the guy who did, uh, who started Studio Ghibli, he, it was his, he directed that movie. That makes sense, because those are so well animated. Like, I don't care for Lupin the Third, but they're very well animated. Yeah. Um, Full swoop to Cooley Cooley, like, I'm sitting there watching it, and uh, Taku's dad is, like, dressed up like Lupin. I'm like, that, like, he's dressed like Lupin. And then he even says, don't like my yeah. castle of... Castelletto. I can't pronounce the word. Yeah, Castelletto. No. Castelletto gear. He was like, he was like, yeah, so he's like, just the that's fucking and, awesome. And he acknowledged yeah. it. Yeah, and I mean, I mean, and for those who were l- watching, yeah. listening, yeah, I, yeah, we're like, well, why, why you mention this show and this show? We, we, we try to, we're trying to get more of the, the shows that weren't as popular on this episode. So yes, we do love Gundam Wing. We are, we, we are, us being obviously uh, the community that we're we're heavily in. We love all the Mobile Suit Gundams and Gundam Wing and stuff. So we, that's why we haven't talked about it, just so everybody knows. Little break, little refresher. Yeah. Okay. And uh, speaking of Gundams, what is everybody working on? Oh no, we didn't get on? Alex. We didn't get. Uh, we Copley. We didn't get out. Oh. Oh, no, Copley. Alex. Co- just, Alex just Alex. went. <laughs> oh. Yeah, the Alex. Oh, Alex just went. Okay, sorry. <laughs> Throw me out the wow. fucking window. I'm, I'm hey, who's just like fuck this guy? <laughs> no, that's all right. Yeah. Sorry, bud. Fucking, I mean, honorable mentions for me, uh, Hironi Kenshin, mm. and then Shaolin Showdown Throwdown. You guys yes, that? Mucha Lucha, a flea. No, I no, don't. Shaolin Showdown. No, I know, but Mucha Lucha was also in that. Oh, like, mo- yeah, yeah, in that realm timeline. of weird yeah, yeah, shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. Those were on Toonami. Those were cool. I like those, dude. They were. I loved Shaolin Showdown. The that monks was with the fuck. fucking dots, dude. Rye. I don't what? even know the name. Yeah, dude, it was there. It was cool. Yeah, I like I mean, that. I don't know if I'd oh. still watch them. No. Oh, yeah. this show. Ooh. Funny, you were too old. Don't worry about it. Okay. Yeah, I probably was. <laughs> yeah. I was fucking 12, dude. Fucking Get the Claudine fuck out had already here graduated college. Yeah. yeah. Twi- twice. Yeah. Twice he, was, he was already Moved well into his adult life at this time. Yes. 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 No, I mean, yeah, yeah, for me, I don't know. Those, those shows were cool. Um, I fucking love Roni Kenshin. I'll leave that there. Yeah. I originally was going to do Roni Kenshin on this episode, but I decided to switch, didn't you? Last minute. I did last minute, too. (laughs) Yeah, no, I wasn't doing 300 fucking episodes again. Sorry. (laughs) But if you guys want a video of me playing Freckles on DDR, got you on that. Dark times. It was the best times, the worst of times. Anyways, what we're working on, since Alex likes to cut to the chase. <laughs> Dude, I feel so fucking bad. Alex likes to cut to the chase. Uh, myself, I... What the fuck did I just finish? Uh, that Destiny, I've just finished weathering yeah, that Destiny. Uh, I'm going to start my next kit. Hmm. It's either going to be Virtue. I think it's going to be Virtue. Oh, you're going to go next for kit. Virtue? Yeah, I'm going to go for Virtue. I'm just going to go. Oh, I have to stay up all night tonight because I have to work tomorrow. Yeah, tomorrow at 11 p.m. So. I'll probably knock out a good portion of Virtue. Claudian, what are you going to be working on? or work? I'm actually currently working on a uh, the Zaku 2, the Char's Zaku high grade, and uh, just got to do the stickers on the new. And But no, um, I'm already working on the legs for that little character. And yeah, you were right. Uh, it's a nice little reprieve from my, uh, my master grades. I opened the thing up, and I was like, Where's the rest of the instructions? Like I thought, I thought more than a, you know, two thirds of the uh, instructions are missing. There's nothing wrong with high grades. Yeah, when you stop doing nothing but master and fucking real grade. No, I just need I just need to do it to test my damage battle damaging, and then and that's why I did this. Nick, I I just finished that wing. So what's new? Yeah, Uh, that was it pretty much. I mean, for Cell shaded that hours of work. I'm digging the cell shading. Um, I need to clear code them though. I think I'm gonna matte clear code them to make them look like an like an anime page. Um, I do have. I opened. Um, 
but I haven't actually started him oh, yet. Oh, whoa. Uh, oh. I have like 15 uh, shit, or like things in my backlog right now. Uh, so I'm trying to get clear it up a little. What about you, Alex? The gog. The gog. The gog. The gog. The gog. The gog. Some cock. Looking like little <laughs> There we go. Uh, yeah. This little bastard's big. Not really little. This is a high grade. And this kinda thing large, is like right? beefy. Kind of large, 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 large. And heavy. <laughs> he said he's heavy. I don't think I've ever felt a kit that's really that heavy. Heavy. What? You thick, boy. Damn, boy. Damn, boy. Thick. You thick. Well, boys, does anybody have any closing statements about two nine? Claudian, uh, closing statement. A closing statement. Yeah, Toonami. Uh Hopefully, this new chapter is going to be fucking amazing for the next generations that are going to be watching it. And um, yeah, you guys you better not fuck it up. Don't fuck it up, because you could fuck up a whole gen- next generation of weirdos with shitty fucking anime. So we were lucky. Let's hope they be lucky. Yeah, we were kind of gerbils, I feel like. Yeah, we're watching. <laughs> but no, the, uh, the ham taros. No, but it's definitely exciting for sure. Um. <laughs> Dude, ham taro. Oh my God. How do we not talk about ham taro this entire episode? I wanted to, but oh, ham taro. you should have. That would have been so funny. I almost switched to watching that. Oh, it's so good. Is there a plot to Hamtaro? Does anybody know? No, they're just chill, just okay. hamsters fucking hanging just out. Cute, bro. hanging out. Right? <laughs> just making sure I didn't miss anything because I, re- I remember yeah. that show now. Sounds. You guys all watch uh, like the Samurai Shampoo? Yeah. Shampoo. That's a great show. shampoo. Yeah, shampoo. Shampoo. What I say. Oh, shampoo. Shampoo. <laughs> yeah. Lamp. Shampoo. Samurai. Shampoo. Yeah. You know. It's so yeah, awesome. no. That's no. Yeah. Hi, Carly. Hi. That's a great, uh, that's a great show, too. It was. I, Carly? I don't give a fuck what or, anyone said. Yeah, I watched I Carly, it as a kid. Was, yeah. It was good. I Carly. It was fucking good. Enough. Enough. What are you talking about? I Carly? Anyways. So, closing statements, Alex. What was yours, Nick? Look up the oh. old shows. Oh. To watch you them. just taught me. I, I wanted... And oh, I thought you were done. My bad. I was done, yeah. Oh, yeah. I just wanted Alex to go. I like oh, oh, okay. Okay, like restart. Alex hey, Alex. What's your closing statement about Tsunami, bro? Look up old Tsunami shows on the internet and just watch them. There's a lot of good shows out there. I mean, I second yours on there. I mean, some of them are fucking weird looking. I mean, like, Hamtaro, Shallon Showdown, all that shit, but you can find it. And majority of it, like even Jackie Chan Adventures, all that shit is (laughs) worth watching. (laughs) Uncle says so. What about you, Copley? Okay. My closing state about Toonami. Give it a try. Watch the shows. Go win it open because obviously every show that you might watch might be outdated as but well. it's worth the watch it definitely is for the most part yeah mm-hmm. dude for real History. i mean at the very most if you're an avid anime watcher now if you go back and watch something old you're gonna find something that you see in a newer anime where they got the inspiration for sure yeah. so watch that shit I think it's time to call it a night. So, Claudian, give us your plugs. Yo, yo, yo. It's me, K Money, in the house. Anyways. Um, K Money. Yeah, so I'm on Instagram. I like I tell people, just go to my Instagram. It's Gundam underscore Operation Meteor. There, under my bio, you'll find my tree link. I've got like a million links. So, Uji. just check it out. And yeah, if you like what you see, add me, like me. Hit me up. Whatever. All right. Peace. Hit, hit my boy up.
Oh, I, I um, guess I'll go next. Yeah, who's going next? Go on, drop your fucking ball. Uh, uh, Nick, um, Nick, I, I was having the host, our host for the evening. Oh, me? Mr. Yeah, okay. people, Nomer, you're supposed to be telling us what to do. Uh, All right, Nick, the MC. give me your plugs. I'll give give you me your plug. plugs, I want to plug you. What kind of uh, plugs? What sizes? My Insta is buildbrohero, H-E-E-R-O. Um, if you haven't added me, definitely do. I love seeing your guys' builds. Uh, Nick Henry twenty seven is my Twitch. Uh, what about you, Alex? Crap that shit. My Instagram is mecca underscore shiva with two e's shiva, and my Twitch oh, is sweaty mix swamp pants. <laughs> Gotta love it. <laughs> All right, you guys. And then Mister uh, cool, Mister Steve. Yes, yeah, you guys can find me at uh, cbxxl builds or underscore builds sorry on uh instagram twitter not twitter anymore sorry i deleted my twitter um Ooh, got banned oh. we do have a twitter no, though I, I didn't get banned i deleted my twitter voluntarily i promise okay. um Ban. yeah so no find me on cbxxl on instagram and tiktok and then twitch too and then uh you can find us Build bros. What's our fucking shit? Bros underscore Michigan. Bye. Thank you. Yes. And then you can follow our network at Spawn Camp Co. on Instagram. And we will be posting all of our videos here going forward on the YouTube. Remember, keep on gumpling. Don't forget when you go to check out at Leaping Panda, you can use our special code Build Bros 4 for 10% off. All right, let me record that. This has been Bill Bros. Thank you for listening. If you like this podcast, please share and like.